All right, I got the ammo box. We're gonna find out what's inside. In three, two, you ready? Hails low, it's Jeremy. Hey guys, it's George. And we are back on the auction trail. We actually drove hour and 30 minutes south to a caravan auction. Mm -hmm. There should be 20 units today. Four locations, 20 units. Tons of fun and hopefully no drugs. <laughs> We're here on behalf of One Stop Storage. The people that own the storage do not own anything in the units and they are by state law allowed to bid on the units. Okay? If they want. If you need to know who they are, I can tell you they are allowed to bid. I checked it out. We had a big hassle one day, so I got my detectives out and we all went and found out what's the what and where's where. So it is illegal. When you buy a unit, you're in charge of that unit. Whatever's in that unit belongs to you at that time, you're responsible for getting rid of everything in the unit and broom sweeping the interior of the unit. At this time, there is no deposit on these units, but if you don't clean them out, I can just about guarantee you there will be a deposit and then when you get to try the back one, but right now there is no deposit. Make sure they're clean. You still want sure, Want us to drop the locks on the left side and the right side yeah, inside the door? You, we'll give you a lock and key when you're done and out. We can just sit it inside the unit and we'll get it when uh, we check them. You have till Monday to get everything out. And you cannot use any of our dumpsters. No breaking the plane of the door. When you go up to the door, you can look in, go from one side to the other. Everybody take a look when the fat guy, which is me, is done. I'll start the auction and I'll call it off. And if the top bidder, you win it. Make sure I see your bid. Don't just give me a hand flick. If you want to holler, yeah, that's okay too. Don't matter how you do it, as long as I see you. If I take a look inside, do not go inside. First location. This is the only unit you have at this location. First We're unit. Good for all four locations, and we have 17 units all together. There's one here, one on North Mount Vernon Road, up across Pass Point. Out on Main Street beside the firehouse, and over on Kaufman, about a half mile mm -hmm. west on Main and south on Kaufman. Who give me 25? 25 to 5, 25, 25, 10 dollars, 10 dollars. There's got to be 10 dollars worth in that thing if I've ever seen it. 10. Yeah. I got 10. Now 15. 10 and a 15, 15, 15, 10 and a 15, 10 and a 15, 15, 15, 10 and a 15. I don't think it's much interested, and I think you might have just got real lucky. 10 and a 15, 15, 15, 10 and a 15. So for $10, number, 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 eight, is it? Nine. Nine. Things have taken a little bit of a crazy turn. It's kind of odd. It went from four locations to now seven locations, down to 15 units. And if that's not odd enough, we were just told that the owners of the facility can actually legally bid. Now, Isn't that called shilling? In our auction world, that would be considered shilling, which is illegal at an auction. I'm not taking the time to dig into this while we're at an auction. What I did do is I told George, we've got to go stand over as close to them as possible and hear everything they're saying as a family members. Mm -hmm. And what we heard him say is number two is the only one that he cares about. So we don't know where location. We don't know. We don't know. We're just going to be on the lookout for number two. And we want to be bidding on that one for sure. Because apparently there's going to be a lot of new stuff. In they the were unit. they were talking about a combination as well. And so we're hoping a safe. But we don't know if that combination meant to a lock to get into the unit. We don't we, we didn't get the context of what the combination went, uh, meant. So we better get on it because people are over here at the second location. Let's, Let's go. Let's do it. Oh, no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no. You've got to be kidding me. I don't know. I have a feeling George is going for this. Looks like green box, A lot of prizes and tra treasures in here, folks. Who started me out at 25? $25. I got five. Oh man, give me 10. Just for general principles. See that? I, like it, okay. I got 10, now 15, you're easy. 10, now 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15
25, now 30. Now 30. 25 and 30, 30, 25 and 30. 25 and 30, 30, 25 and 30. Find, probably find a whole box full of pennies then. 25 or 30? So for $25, number, number. Number seven. Number seven, number seven. She just got this for 25. We're on our way to location number three. We're literally driving right now. We're at a red light. We do not know what number two is that the facility owner is so interested in. So that obviously wasn't it. We just got it for 25 bucks. There's less than how many people do you think are even here? Not even 15. And it's Saturday in a suburb of Columbus, our biggest city. All right, we're driving again. Let's see what happens at the third location. Here we go again. George always getting the popo all around her. I you thought there was. Find me. I thought we were staying away from popo Just today. Like the swords find me. The popo finds me. No, we have to do that. So we have to sell it at a later time. Every time I hear that, they never advertise it. The other one. What's that? They never advertise one of them. Like oh. other units I've been to. So I think they. Can. Yeah, because one of the one big ones has too. cars in it. And everything in the unit can go but the cars. Two motorcycles. We have to get a salvage. I see a well, we have to get a salvage title, so it just depends. Wow. Some of them we've just sold and the people are renewing and the other people they're can, can you share for all of our viewers what you do as a facility owner when there's a vehicle in there? You have to get a salvage title. So you can't sell it? Nope. So you can sell the unit, but just can't sell any vehicles. No yes. motorcycle, no, no car. Well, yeah. the bit, the the they can be title. You'd have to get a title. Yeah. yeah. Does so the winning bidder get could, that vehicle? You could, or you just sell them scrap. It has to stay behind. It has to stay behind. That, it, stay I mean, it has to stay behind so the facility the owner has to get the salvage rigged. title. Yeah. So the bikes are going to go with this yep. unit. I'm going to sell them. You know, give us a receipt or something that says... Take credit card get it. Drive yeah. But like I said, you're still going to have to apply yeah. for a title to yeah, right. You know what I mean? So you're going to do like we do, and then you got to have them appraised. There's two bikes in here. Three months. At least the cars are like that way, and I would assume the motorcycle. And the facility owner is going to let them go. I told them that, you know, if somebody would end up having to spend a lot of money, and they needed to use the credit cards, that the drive-thru can take the credit cards. have to go right there. George? Yeah, I saw There's the porn. There's the You're gonna have to blur that. I don't think they can see it. So you are the facility owner. You are letting the bikes go. Yep. Perfect. Like I said, you're still gonna have yeah. to get titles. You have to do all the work. Yep. Okay. Last time they made me do it. I ain't gonna do it. Yeah. The lady said if you buy this and you need to use your credit card, they can take your credit card to the uh, the red eye drive through up here. Because they run it also, they can do you a flavor by letting you bid as much as you want to bid on this and use your credit card. So if you're interested, we will start out now. Wow. I think a thousand dollars ought to be appropriate. I think I'll be right down to you, maybe. Here, give me five hundred. I got five, now six. Five and six. Five, six, 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 five, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, now nine, now a thousand, now a thousand, a thousand, thousand dollars. They got nine, now a thousand, now a thousand. Thousand. I got a thousand, now a thousand, two thousand. Facility owners bidding against me. Eleven hundred? How about two thousand, or a thousand? Eleven hundred. Eleven hundred. How about fifteen hundred? Just make it easy. Fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred. Okay, eleven hundred. 12, 12, 12, 13, 14, facility 14, owner is 14 against me, 1400, 1350, oh man you're starting too quick on that, I got 14, 14, 15, 15, 15, 16, 17, George help 17, me, 17, 17, 1700, 1700, whole unit, bike and all, 1700, 17, 17, 18, 18, been an 18, 18, but an 18. 18, but an 18. Been All right, 18, facility been owner 18. is out. We're 17, at 17. Been an 18, but an 18, but an 18. 17, but an 18. 17, but an 18. If you're done, I got to be. 17, but an 18. So, $1,700. Number seven. Number seven wins. And that is unit number two. And who did I have to outbid? 
the facility owner. I had to actually outbid the facility owner. 1700 did we get it for? 1700 Georgia, this is going to be me and you after that unit we just bought. Yeah! Wow! His and her hogs. Riding in the desert, heading into nowhere. Sun is showing me the way I'm riding alone. Looking for adventure. I took my George to Texas. I'm a stranger and I'm riding alone. Safety first, wear them helmets. What do you think about these three wheels? I love them. Sissy bikes. <laughs> I love them. This is a unique unit. There's actually an attic for storage you see up there. So stairs go up and you have storage up in the attic. There's a good pair of muck boots. Yeah, I see a fridge, washing machine yeah. under the stairs. Looks like a good unit. Yeah. I, I'd, I'd like to see two more motorcycles in there. <laughs> nice bed. How about 11 on this one? Who give me $50? $50. The treadmill's got to be worth that. $50. 25 I got 25 now 30 now 30, 25 to 30, 30, 25 to 30, 30, 30, 25 to 30, 30, 25 to 30. There is an attic in this. 25 to 30, and there is stuff in the attic. 25 to 30, 30, 25 to 30, 25 to 30, 25 to 30, 25 to 30. 25 to 30. Sold for $25. Number, number 11, number 11. This unit's a little scary. I'm scared. You scared? You don't care? I don't care. I don't do it very often. Mm. Nobody gets hurt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't get hurt. You're on your own. On this one. You're letting us walk in? Yes. Is that legal? Well, no, they're legal. your terms. I used to do it all the time. You guys used to pull stuff out and sell piece by piece, too. Oh, there's a trunk. There's a trunk. So we can walk in, just don't touch anything. We're not open anything, don't touch. I can't, I can't believe we're walking in a unit. This is like no other auction we've ever been to. It's amazing. Anarchy. Complete anarchy. <laughs> okay, here we go. They give me 75 bucks. 75 bucks. Voice machine's got to be worth that. I think it's a voice machine. I'll do that. 75? Now 85. Now 90. Facility owner has been in. Now 105. 115. 125. 125, 135, 135, 145, 155, 155, 155, 155, 155, 155, 155, 155, 155, 155, 155, 155, Two hundred got me going better now. Two, two ten. See, it scared him. Two ten. Two ten. Two ten. Two ten. Ten two ten. Two ten. Ten ten. Two ten. I got two hundred now. Two ten. Two ten. Two ten. Last call. Two ten. So for two hundred dollars, young lady, your number. Number four. Number four. Where's that one? We're headed to the next location. We got the unit with the couple bikes in it for $1,700. George, tell everybody what you heard. I heard the facility owner say that the previous owner owed $1,400 and surprisingly he stopped bidding at $1,400. So what do you think? Is that shilling, hails yes, or hails no down in the comments? Is it really legal? Holy jeebus. These units are huge. Let's compare them to my size. Um, you are a tiny little Egyptian lady. These are warehouses. They are warehouses. These are warehouses. What does not sell with this one? Two vehicles. I'm okay. So we officially own the motorcycles, but we can't own can't own these vehicles. I, I, they're junk. I don't think it's cost. I, I wouldn't be worth it to transfer over. the title. Yeah. Would never be worth it for us. That's my thoughts. Like I said, if you run in trouble with motorcycles, oh, you're playing. Oh, cow. 
You put air conditioning in here too no, for these guys? That actually you got heat. Winter time to winter, it'll never drop, but I don't care, it's minus 10 out, 42 degrees. Everything Summertime, in here goes except 75. for the car. This is the facility owner speaking with us, so. It's got heat in here, everything for these guys. Is that right? This is our incredible facilities. Are you not in awe? This is amazing. This I've is, never been to anything like this. This is where the dog stayed. Remember when we thought about going to Alliance today? Good thing we came to Columbus. I have all these tools. Is everybody ready? I'll go five. Now six. Now seven. Nope. Now seven, we're seven, now eight, now nine. Facility owner bidding. Now ten, thousand dollars. Up to a nice thousand. Round number. I hope you write the check. Thousand dollars. Thousand. Right here a thousand. Right here a thousand. That's the one with three zeros. Right here a thousand. Thousand dollars. I got nine now a thousand. Nine hundred now a thousand. Nine hundred now a thousand. That's everything except the car, the truck, and the fire extinguisher. I got nine hundred dollars. Anybody give me a van, an advance on that. Thousand dollars, anybody. Sold for nine hundred dollars. Number six. Number six. Facility owner. We got another unit. We got it for nine hundred. Right? You come up at the great buildings. It's forty eight. Forty eight. Okay. Pull down there and set Mike and we'll be right down there, okay? In my professional opinion, this is just insane. I turned the camera off too soon because the business owner then told everybody that the former unit owner owed over $2,000, so he's protecting his investment. If I did that on eBay, let's say I bought something, those motorcycles for $1,700, and then I posted them, and it was an absolute auction, and I started it at a dollar, and then I was like, oh no, I'm not gonna get my $1,700, and I created an account to actually start bidding prices up. That's called shilling. It's illegal. So it sounds, it's, it doesn't sound right to me. I don't know what's going on. I really don't know what's going on. I have never seen, I keep telling George, I've never seen anything so blatantly. But it's exciting. Obviously. I've never experienced it everybody talking about it. Like it was just, he owed me two grand. Therefore I'm going to buy it at 900. Hmm. That's shilling. We're at the next location and we're allowed to walk in. And it's like, again, a huge warehouse bay. Maybe a store that went out of business. This would be nice for the warehouse, huh? This would be perfect. Look, everybody's, look, everybody's touching everything. This is complete anarchy. <laughs> Every so auction should be like this. No, no it shouldn't. There's the owner. He just said he's not giving the garage away. Oh, this is... Were they selling right out of here? Everything. Last time seen around Christmas. Right after they sold anything at Christmas, and then they have not. So they ran a store right out of the storage unit. You can do it. This is zone for uh, industrial. This, this, you got to use it with what it is. It's B, it's M, it's yeah. four different uses. And there's firewalls in there. So every over 8,000 square feet, you have to put firewalls. So you got firewalls, and they were able to use it for a retail store. Well, retail's not a big deal. It's more for car repair. Yeah. Firewall problem. Yeah. Yeah. Is there expired food? I'm so hungry, uh, I'm tempted to eat some of this. What was that? I'm so hungry, I'm tempted to eat some of that. I think <laughs> some chips. Is that salt and vinegar? That's my favorite. They were running a business right out of here. This is crazy. Man. We're allowed to walk into everything. Amazing. I think they were sleeping back here too. Look, they were sleeping. Uh, the facility owner. Already said he's not letting it just go, so he's gonna bid. <laughs> what do I think? You want the shelving? For the I market? don't want to be shilled. Who give me a thousand dollars? I'll go a thousand. I got a thousand. That's the facility so owner. He just bid a thousand. Twelve hundred. How about eleven hundred? Eleven hundred. I hear eleven hundred. Now people are trying to give him side deals. Eleven hundred on the whole unit, everything in here. Saying, I'll give you three hundred for this. Eleven hundred dollars. Eleven hundred dollars. $1,100, that's about $1,100 right here on that one set of shelves right there. $1,100, $1,100, anybody? $1,100, $1,100, $1,100, $1,100, $1,100, $1,100, $1,100, $1,100, $1,100, $1,100, $1,100, $1,100, $1,100, $1,100, $1,100, $1,100,
1100 Okay, $1,050. I'll break it down that far and that's it. $1,050. I'm trying to let somebody out bid him, okay? $1,050. $1,050. If you're not interested, I don't have nothing else to do here. $1,050. Anybody interested? You want to take a second look? $1,050. People don't like reserves and people don't like to be shelled. Sold one thousand dollars. Number six. Got it. Number six. Facility owner bought it. Right here. Now look, everybody's trying to give them side deals for stuff. They're all coming up to him. Go. Well, I'll give you this for this. I'll give you this for this. Look, you got people climbing, going through stuff now. Somebody just took stuff. That's his daughter. That's his daughter. <laughs> Want to know what the legal definition of shilling is? I looked it up online. What does it mean to shill something? It's a person who poses as a customer in order to decoy others into participating as at a gambling house, an auction, a confidence game, etc. A person who publicizes or praises something or someone for reasons of self-interest, personal profit, or friendship or loyalty. That's shilling. That's what it sounds like is going on right now. Sure the hail sounds like it to me. The sign should say a thousand dollar reward for information leading to shilling at auctions. Sledgehammer. It's in. The, yeah, I did. It's in the. It's in the trailer. But based on everything that's going on already, I don't feel too comfortable about bidding on a safe. Just seventeen hundred dollars on motorcycles and porn. Hammer it down. Ten it down. Ten it down. Who's got something they can't afford to get without in here? Ten dollars. You got lights right there worth ten dollars a piece. I got five, now ten. Five and ten, you could already mm -hmm. been there. Mm -hmm. Ten, fifteen, fifteen, no. twenty, twenty, fifteen and twenty, twenty, twenty-five, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, 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 thirty-five. She didn't bid, she was just fly hitting a flyaway. That was a movie, young lady, when you're in auction, you don't... Here, I'm standing in front of her. Okay. I got, I got thirty. Now 35. Charge, you tell them that we're not supposed to video anything. We got to take this thing and break it. Yeah, break we got to put flesh down it. 30 now, 35. I think I had you at 25 and I took her at 30. You're 25. 25, now 30. Boy, you got to back up and it's hard when you get this old head back up without mirrors. Okay, here we go. I got 25 now, 30. 25 and 30. It just goes to show you people thought it wasn't worth that. 25 and 30, 30. 25 and 30. 25 and 30. 30. 25 to 30? So, $25, what's your number, young man? She almost bought a number junk 12, unit number with 12. an empty safe. <laughs> Look at this. This entire unit is packed with drums and drum sets all the way to the back. In, in cases. And then there's a couple tires. And there. It's pearl. Yeah, even like that foot there, I imagine that stuff's stupid. Yeah. I think the best thing to do is be called the music store and have them come out here and buy the foot. Them look at it. $100! $100! $50! $50! $50! $50! $50! $50! $50! $50! $50! $50! $50! $50! $50! $50! $50! $50! $50! $50! $50! $50! $50! $50! $50! $50! $50! $50! $50! $50! $50! $50! $50
We didn't show you the contents of this one. Just want to show you the facility owners inside and bidding. If you want to walk in, you can. And now he's letting people walk in. The auctioneer is. Just minutes ago, he told him not to go in. Now he's letting people in. This is just. This is insane. I've never seen anything like this before. Facility owners bidding, buying. People are walking in. Facility owners at 370. So for 370, number six, number six. Facility owner just bought another one. I do any good? <laughs> <laughs> you tell us. Uh, I'm probably gonna give it away a lot too. You've been doing it for 20 years, Dan. You should be able to tell me right I off the get-go. <laughs> <laughs> the big spender or the facility owner? <laughs> <laughs> Probably the facility owner. I'll tell you, she's not happy about that, I know. So are you going to have to pay for them? No. Well, we do advertently. Oh, okay. okay. So she was the big spender today? Uh, what well, you guys? 1725? 1725. Congratulations, brown sugar mama. Yeah. <laughs> Let me change this right here. 1725. Okay. We're back at Georgia's first back unit. At the unit that I got, number 725, for only $25. This is, this is probably the cheapest unit I've ever won. So I'm excited about that. My next goal is to get an awesome unit for only a dollar. Your goal was to buy this because there was a sword. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to show you the sword. And the other thing that we saw, see these hats? Those might be Stetson Boy Scout hats, so that could be a couple hundred dollars. We're gonna show that to you, then we're gonna get this loaded as fast as possible because we wanna get out to the other uh, motorcycle unit. Motorcycle unit, we're probably gonna go and get Tuesday, Wednesday, we'll and then... Work. Yeah, you'll have to come back when I'm at work, but I have a friend's graduation party I have to go to tonight, so we have to get out of here. All right, you gonna show us the sword or you gonna yes. keep us waiting? She's gonna keep us waiting, it's the suspense. <laughs> this is what you're going to take the West Coast out with? I could. There we go. West Coast going down. West Coast is going down. Alright, let me see if I can grab those hats. Okay. Hold on. Alright, show us what you got. Mm, not looking like Stetson's. What do you think? I don't think there's no markings. All right, let's load it up. Unit number two that we heard the owners had an extreme interest in because we were eavesdropping. Remember, you should always bid with your eyes and your ears and all of your five senses. Open it up, George. $1,700. No doubt we were shilled up. No doubt whatsoever at all. We have owned. no time... To load this stuff up, especially with us going to the West Coast to go beast them. So, we're just taking a quick look. Obviously, we got somebody working on bikes. We got more tires than we're ever going to know what to do with. We have helmets. What do we have back here? Holy cow. We got all kinds of helmets. Here's gas tank one of the things I saw when I was bidding was the ammo box so hopefully bikers and bling and hey George Yo. here's a machete and weapons so I don't know Babe, I, I don't know if I can reach this and record at the same time and you can't get it she's all the way down there all right, I'm going to have to turn it off and get this ammo box. All right, I got the ammo box. We're going to find out what's inside. In three, two, you ready? One. You better 
undo the other side. Nope, that's a hinge. All right, I got one hand. This doesn't work one-handed. And this, we, there is something in it. This is why I have a tripod with me all the time. There's something in it. Oh man. There's a CD that says pictures and it has two smiley faces and he kept it in an ammo box. We're taking this home and we're checking this thing out.